The founder of C-SPAN, Brian Lamb, is going out like a lion. Lamb has some parting shots, some tough shots for political Washington, the city in which he turned a unique concept into a mainstay of American media. Fox News media analyst and host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz, on Lamb's early days and final days at the helm. This is C-SPAN. Brian Lamb had a revolutionary idea 40 years ago, raise money from cable companies to televise what Congress does. In this vote, the yeas are 56, the nays are 41. Minus the usual punditry. We do not offer any on-air analysis because that's our mission. No ads, no personalities, no ratings. But there were some growing pains. Mr. Chairman, I apologize to you for the uh, mishap there. It seems like this building is old and they're going to be rebuilding it. Today, the Senate goes on television. What do you think? Well, I'm going to hold my breath for a while. I, I have uh, mixed feelings about it. The C-SPAN founder, who's now stepping down, made sure ordinary citizens could weigh in. Tom was in North Carolina, a Republican. Bill, in Washington State, a Democrat. We created a morning show at C-SPAN as uh, a result of, frankly, me and others growing up, having Sixth Avenue in New York at ABC, NBC, and CBS talk at us never letting anybody talk back. We wanted to have C-SPAN Network where somebody could call up and tell us off. Lamb also had a theory about the mushrooming deficit. I once thought that Congress would waste less money if the camera was on them at all time, and I was dead wrong. A one-time radio and TV staffer in Indiana who says he was told to lie about Vietnam as a Pentagon PR guy, Lamb remains upset with political dishonesty. Lying is something I really never expected in my lifetime when I came from Indiana to Washington, D.C. in 1966. It was an education. And I know a lot of people would say if they hear this, hey, dummy, this has been going on forever. I guess I was naive. At 77, Lamb says he'll miss hosting a weekly show, but still loves coming to the office. I would give up sleeping if I could. I don't even like to sleep. We all take C-SPAN for granted like a public utility. Brian Lamb says the network was never intended to be for everyone, but for political junkies, it remains a valuable franchise. Brett? Howie, thanks. Our sincere congrats to Brian Lamb for an amazing career and for bringing Washington to people around the country.